Hi everybody, Michelle Seguin here from PerfectlyMeToday.com and today I want to talk about achieving your goals. Specifically, I'm going to talk about achieving your weight loss goals. Um, I just want to say if you're focusing on your goals, which is to lose a certain amount of weight, let's just pick 20 pounds, if you're focusing on losing 20 pounds, chances are you're never going to achieve that goal. Why is that? Because you're focusing on the wrong thing. You're focusing on losing the 20 pounds instead of the action steps and the behavior changes you need in order to reach the goal. I find that when you're setting goals in life, this is a big thing that we overlook. We set the goal, but then we don't have any steps that we're going to take to get there. We're just like, I'm going to lose weight and today I'm going to take a walk. or like We don't really think it out. We have ideas and things that we know we need to do, but we don't actually sit down write them down, plan them out, and execute them. So that is something, like right now, I'm kind of on a, a mini challenge. I wanna lose uh, 20 pounds. I mean, I, you know, I wanna lose a lot more, but that is right now, this is my next little short-term girl goal, is to lose 20 pounds. So I sat down, I wrote it down, that in the next three months, I wanna lose 20 pounds, I wanna be under 175 pounds, and why do I want to do that? Well, I wanna be fitter, uh, I want to lose more of the excess fat because eventually I'd like to have the weight loss surgery. And I just want to be healthier and I want to look better. I want to feel better. I just want to keep going to hit my goal, which is to lose, I would say I want to get down to 150, maybe even lower. It's hard to tell because I have all the loose skin, which will have to go. So it's really hard. But I look at my body and I can see the fat. So I sat down. I wrote down my goal. I wrote down why I wanted to achieve that goal. You need the motivation. Why do I want to lose that 20 pounds? I want to lose it because of these reasons. And then the action steps that I am going to take to achieve it. And not something like frivolous, like, oh, I'm going to exercise, I'm going to walk. No, I'm going to exercise every day. I will be at the gym at this time. So for me, for example, for my 20 pound uh, weight loss goal for the next three months, I said, I'm going to get up every morning at 3.30 and I'm going to go to the gym. I meditate first, but so I'm going to get up at 3.30, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to do my workout schedule and I'm going to do my 15 minutes of cardio. I am then going to, well, I also walk to the gym. I'm gonna walk back home and then I'm going to go to work. I'm going to walk. I am not going to take any of the escalators. I will walk all of the stairs because I have a, about a 15 minute walk from the metro to my job. So I will walk all that, no skipping the stairs. I will walk up those stairs. I'm also going to eat less. So what does that mean? That means no um, out of time snacking. So it's like, I will eat my three meals. I will eat my snacks and the snacks are healthy like i have like my apples my oranges my nuts and stuff like that but no like oh i'm hungry i didn't bring anything let me just go downstairs and grab a bagel no none of that so i set action steps i'm going to take i will not bring any money with me to work so that i can't buy any food uh, i mean like loose change and stuff like that i'm going to bypass that tim hortons as i'm going to work i will not even look at it i will keep going no coffee so i will stop drinking coffee I will because I put sugar in it and stuff. It's just not good for you. Um, so yeah, just definitely having action steps. I should have brought my paper with me. I left it in the room. But basically, that's what I want to tell you. That's what I want to share with you guys. If you guys have a goal, you need to write down your goal. You need to look at it. I, I carry this around on a card with me. I look at it all the time to keep you focused on it. Write down why it's important for you to reach that goal and write down what you're going to do every day to, to reach it. I have a notepad with little boxes that I can check off and I have my list of action steps that I do every day. It keeps me accountable to myself and be like, okay, go to the gym, done. Don't buy any coffee, done. That sounds kind of silly. But, you know, there's a tea shop downstairs at my job. It's the best thing ever, and I spend way too much money there. That's another goal that I did is to save money. So kind of like a little segue here. But every time I would go to buy something, like, you know what, like right now I'm going to Tim Hortons, I'm getting a bagel. Uh, I don't go, and that money that the bagel costs, I will actually withdraw from my account and put it in my savings account because I want to see how much money I actually spend in a typical month on non-essentials because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on a budget. I'm trying to... Uh, to save up some money. I also like to give more money. So these frivolous like non-spendings, you want to know where your money's going. You work hard for it, don't you? So anyways, that is what I want you guys to do. If you guys have a goal you want to achieve, if you're in the middle of it, if you're going to start it, whatever, write it down. Write down why and write down what you're going to do every day and carry that around with you and check those boxes off. If you don't do something, if you have that, that coffee or that donut or that croissant or whatever, if you don't go to the gym, if you miss a step, it's not the end of the world. Don't beat yourself up about it. 
Just try and do better the next day. What happened, happened. It's in the past. You can't change it. Thinking about it for the next five days, not going to change that. But definitely, if you do this, you will achieve your goals. Check back with me in three months. I will have lost those 20 pounds. I will be holding up a little piece of paper saying that I weigh 175 or less in, in three months. Maybe even more because I, I set myself kind of a tiny goal even though I know I could achieve it. But it's because I'm lifting weights as well so I wanted to kind of take that into account because I know muscle weighs more than fat or so they say. But yeah, so anyways, definitely do that and I'd love to hear about it. If you guys are working on goals and stuff, leave comments below. Send me an email at perfectlymetoday at gmail.com and I would love to hear about your success stories. And I look forward to sharing my success with you in three months. Thanks.